ya ko eye en sevo fro en so emu a afimu ani na eye aye wa so west wogon by election e ba so na ekoko wi ase no na penche penche bebre wo hodma asi e no na ejina so ama eye anka ne gana man penim ro john dramani mahama e dia to dwa a wo chim se senka onyankrofo twedi ampon anfasi a anka de be koso e wo hodom no na ka enye kra the cowardly act of barbarism perpetrated by government elements against citizens whose only interest was to choose a member of parliament for themselves could have been worse and as he just said it was just the intervention of god if you looked at the number of bullets that were discharged on that day to think that not a single person died it is only god's intervention that prevented it Thankfully, the National Democratic Congress, as it had always done throughout our democratic journey since 1992, and on that day, once again showed leadership and put peace and security of the country first by deciding to withdraw from that by-election. Indeed, later events would prove that the Dastardly Act was an orchestrated plan that was intended to be replicated at other voting centers to intimidate and suppress our support base and to in prevent them from coming out to vote. And indeed, we've been exonerated. One year after that disgraceful chapter in our nation's life, there are questions that remain unanswered. Why must any responsible government compromise the security of the nation by infiltrating the security setup with militia members forming the core of a specialized SWAT unit that the IGP unit that the IGP under whose command they should fall confess that he knew nothing about. If the current constitution of our national security remains the same, in a case where we need protection, do we seek refuge in the police? who were unaware of these rogue elements using police vehicles and who stood passively by as those elements reigned terror on innocent citizens.